In this educational video, we're going to discuss leg length discrepancy. This is an important topic because up to 90% of the general public is thought to have some difference in their leg length, and there's also a lot of controversy surrounding measurement techniques and treatment protocols. Let's start with how to measure leg length, and there are three commonly used methods, two clinical tests as well as imaging. For the clinical tests, an indirect method is performed in standing using lifting blocks under the shorter leg and visually examining if the pelvis is level. And a direct method is performed in supine measuring the distance of fixed bony landmarks with a measuring tape. The next point is critical. There is still disagreement regarding the validity and reliability of measuring leg length with blocks and tape measures but one agreement does exist. While these techniques can be useful as screening tools, they are not an accurate measurement of leg length. The gold standard for measuring leg length is still radiography, and here are the three methods used to measure leg length. Now let's talk about treatment considerations, which include doing nothing, using shoe inserts, or undergoing surgery. And it's important to understand there's quite a bit of disagreement regarding the correct treatment in regards to the degree of leg length discrepancy. Some evidence suggests dividing leg length discrepancy into three categories, mild at zero to 30 millimeters, moderate at 30 to 60, and severe as greater than 60 millimeters. These authors recommend mild cases should either go untreated or be treated non-surgically, like with a heel lift. Moderate cases should be dealt with on a case-to-case -case basis, and severe cases should be corrected surgically. Another author suggests a similar breakdown with zero to 20 millimeter discrepancy requiring no treatment, 20 to 60 requiring a shoe lift or surgery, and greater than 60 millimeters requiring surgery. When using a shoe insert, in general, up to 20 millimeters of correction is typically made with an insert, like a heel lift, while further corrections are often done on the sole of the shoe to minimize the effects of changing ankle position. Treating leg length discrepancies should be taken on a case-by-case -case basis with a healthcare professional. While the treatment threshold of 20 millimeters is often used, this number is not all that matters. For instance, younger individuals who are inactive and have had the discrepancy their entire life may not need treatment at a 20 millimeter difference, while older, more active people who acquired the discrepancy later in life may seek treatment below the 20 millimeter cutoff. The takeaway message is fully understand your treatment options and be familiar with the evidence. Here are the articles used to make this video for your reference. Thank you.